Hi, my name is Daniel Casey, and today we're going to be looking at the crop and rotate module. We have edited this image before in a previous uh, video, and right now uh, in the previous video we had used the crop, but today we're just going to be looking at the crop and rotate because rotating an image is sometimes very useful as well. Let's zoom in a little bit here. There we go. And then let's turn that back on and let's bring the grid again. So we can see that it is not totally square here. So one way to do this is to modify or just slide the slider here, but be careful, it, it, it rotates pretty fast. So uh, it goes at five degrees, which is really, really uh, too much. So one way is to turn the um, uh, your wheel on your mouse a little bit to uh, to do that and that usually goes into 0.25 increment now i'm at point, point 0.5 and so on so that's an, another way of doing it if you're right click then you can add the numbers let's say 0 0.025 and or you can right click and then move these lines a little bit so that you can have again pretty close to uh, to, to uh, uh, be more precise in, in your in your changes. But the one that I think is very useful and not always well described is the one where you basically right click with your mouse on a either horizontal or vertical and you drag you drag the line to the next line here pretty much like that and basically that gives you a straight line or we could do it this way and saying this this would be our vertical line like so and this would sort of square the square the image with the grid so hopefully this was useful this last technique is not always well described uh, and I think it's it's one which is very useful. So it's a right click and then you do a line either horizontally or vertically. So thanks for watching and hopefully this was useful.